Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Uh, today, I will be going over this week's problem of the week. For the full problem and solution transcript, there will be a link in the description of this video. So this week's problem of the week was given a non-right triangle, or a triangle with no sides that are equal to 90 degrees, show that the sum of the tangents of its angles is equal to the product of the tangents of its angles. And to do this, we are going to make use of this uh, identity. Um, and these are going to be used also during the proof, but this is the main one we're going to be using. All right. To begin, let's start with the tangent of the sum of the angles. So this is, <clears throat> so the, um, ten the sum of the ang interior angles of a triangle are always going to be equal to 180 degrees. And the tangent of 180 degrees is always equal to 0. So this is equal to 0. And by, we can also use this identity to rearrange this. And we'll do this. So this is the x and this is the y of this identity. And I will write it out for you. OK, so this is uh, the identity written out for this. And all we have to do is check that uh, this, the d denominator is not equal to 0, because you cannot divide by 0. So to check this, we, are, we just have to show that tangent of a times tangent of b plus c is not equal to 1. And to do this, we are going to use the fact that a plus b plus c is equal to 180, uh, which means that we can rewrite this as tangent of a times tangent of 180 minus a, which hopefully you can see is equal to b plus c. And this, using this fact, is equal to the negative tangent squared of a. And we have to show that this isn't equal to 1, which it can't be, because this is a squared number, and it's negative, which means that it could never be positive 1. So this holds true. And so what we can do is um, multiply 0 by this and <clears throat> 0 by the denominator to simplify this. And we get that the tangent of a plus the tangent of b plus c is equal to 0. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the same identity as before on tangent of b plus c which I will write out now. OK, I've written this out. And we need to show that 1 minus the product of tangent b and tangent c is not equal to 0, uh, which I am not going to do for you on the board. Uh, this is the identity that you would use you can try it for yourself, or you can go to the link in the description to the solution transcript where I have done it out for you. But it's, it takes a little bit of time, so I won't do it right now. Uh, so just take my word that 1 minus uh, the product of tangent b tangent c is not equal to 0. And what we're going to do is multiply both sides by 1 minus tangent b tangent c. So what we have is tangent a times the denominator plus tangent b 
plus tangent c is equal to zero. Hopefully you're seeing what's happening, and I will keep simplifying um, until we get uh, this, which is what we're looking for. All right, so all I did was I multiplied, I distributed the tangent A, and then we got this product, and I added that to both sides, and we get exactly what we are looking for. So we have successfully shown that this statement is true for a non-right triangle, and that's this week's problem of the week. To see more videos like this, you can click here for a playlist. To subscribe to our channel, you can click here. To visit our website, centerofmath.org, you can click here. Or if you're on a mobile device, you can click the I in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Thank you.